If you've ever been to a typical Yoruba or Wambel party, you will know that Efororo is never out of the picture. Efororo with pounded yam, with fufu, with eba, with rice. I feel like Efororo is honestly one of those Nigerian soups that you can pair with a lot of things. That is why we're making it today. Today we're making the classic Owambe style Efororo soup. I cannot wait to show you guys everything about this soup because it is so, so good. But before we dive right into the video, if you're not subscribed, I am begging. I am pleading. I am bleeding. Please click on the subscribe button. Click on the like button if you end up enjoying the video or finding it helpful. Leave a comment letting me know what you think about this soup and also share the video to your friends, your loved ones, enemies. Let them come here. When they come, they will love me. Now let us dive right into the video because I want to show you guys how to make proper over and best style Efororo soup. For our effort, we we're going to need some stock fish. We're also going to be using some dried prawns. I've gone ahead to separate the body from the head and I'm going to show you guys what we're going to do with them later on in the video. And we're also going to be needing some onion, loads and loads of onion actually. If you're not adding iru to your eforero, you are wrong. We're also going to need some dried fish. Any dried fish is fine. We're also using some mackerel fish, fresh one. And goat's meat is an essential because of the flavor that it brings to this dish. We're using some tatashe. That's also very important. We're using some scotch bonnet pepper. However, we are not using tomato here. Instead, we're going to be using in bawa and also for our vegetable we are using a for shoko if you live abroad kale is a really really good alternative i also use it sometimes we are also going to be using some palm oil for this and now let us dive right into the cooking process first things first we want to cook our meat like i said we're using goat meat here just because goat meat has lots and lots of flavor when you compare it to like regular beef so that's why we are using it here i'm also going to add some pomod to this and some onion you will see that i am very generous with the onion because onion is always good when you're making local nigerian soups so if you don't like onion find a way to love it at this point we're just going to season that generously with some salt and some seasoning don't add thyme don't add curry you don't need all of that here now you want to stir that and combine thoroughly before adding some water to this typically i'll tell you to cook this for a bit before adding the water but for this particular recipe we are going to add the water at the beginning so you're going to add as much water as you want but also not so much that you dilute the seasoning that we've added on this we don't want to do that here now after stirring that you want to cover the pots and allow to cook until the meat is done while we are cooking that this is a good time for you to prep other ingredients for your recipe so that you do not waste a lot of time in the kitchen for now we are just going to blend some of the dried prawn head and some stockfish i love 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 doing this whenever i'm cooking native soups or just soups in general because there's a distinct flavor that you will not get from regular crayfish powder or regular crayfish if you're using just that so this is what it looks like after grinding and then we're just going to set that aside now we're going to blend our peppers our tatashe the bawa and everything you will notice that i am not using tomato here this is because i want to make the cooking process really really fast and i've actually noticed that with or without tomato my eforero still comes out really really nice it's just that when i'm using tatashe and scotch bonnet and bawa i am just faster or i cook faster because i don't have to cook the stew base for a really really long time now we go to our vegetables and like i said at the beginning of the video we are using some efro shoko here if you live abroad you can use kale and you can also use use ugu but efo shoko is just good for your eforero so please use it if you have access to it this is what our meat looks like after a couple minutes at this point your meat should be done i don't know there's just something about goat meat recently that makes it really cook really really fast i don't know when i was growing up goat meat did not used to cook really really fast but these days something there's just something i i don't know what it is if you know what it is please let me know in the comment section there's just something that makes them cook really really fast our meat is done now we're going to set that aside for our vegetables i am blanching them because i don't want to overcook my vegetables i don't want them to turn black in in the pot so what i'm going to do is pour some boiling water over the vegetables let them stay nothing more than three minutes you guys nothing more than three minutes drain out the the hot water from this and then go in with really really cold water or even ice if you have access to it so that you stop the cooking process immediately once you stop the cooking process you can see that the vegetable still is still looking green it's still looking fresh that is exactly what you're looking for if you cook this directly into the pots or in there yeah, you're not just going to get that vibrant color that you would like so just for you to note that all you want to do is squeeze out all the water that you can get out of this effort shoko and then set aside this is what your effort shoko should look like after you're done squeezing 
now we move on to our smoked catfish i'm using smoked catfish here because i personally love catfish if you don't like catfish you can use any other type of fish that you want just make sure that it is smoked we're going to soak this in some hot water for a couple minutes just so it is easy for us to debone it i am deboning this because we're not using this whole if you want to use whole catfish by all means do that but i'm just going to debone this and then set that aside while we're here you guys in case it's the first time you're hearing my voice or in case it's the first time you're seeing a video from my channel hi everyone my name is daniel i am a digital content creator and youtuber based in lagos nigeria and i share recipe videos every week at least two long form videos every week and i share shots on my channel every day so if you subscribe you're never going to lack quality contents when you're on my channel so please subscribe now let us get back to our food into our pots we're going to add some palm oil to this you want to make sure that you're using good quality palm oil the taste of your palm oil the quality of your palm oil is definitely going to improve or spoil your effort so you want to make sure that you're using good quality palm oil let that eat up for a bit you're not trying to bleach this just let it eat up for a bit and then you're going to add some chopped onions to that or some blended onions anyone you want to use is fine gently fry that for a bit before going in with your iru or locust beans this is a must this is not optional this is not one of those things you'd be like oh i can add it i cannot add it iru is a must in your eforero soup so please add it stir that for a bit before going in with your pepper mix thankfully we are not using tomato here so you can see that this is going to be really really fast we are also going to add our dried prawns to this stir that to combine and allow to cook for a few minutes before adding the deboned catfish i know that you can or it looks like there is not a lot of oil here you don't need it honestly once you see so much oil it's a problem especially when you have oil police moving around but honestly i did not need to add oil here all i just had to do was cover it and allow to cook for a few minutes and now you can see the oil floating on top that was what i was looking for and that's exactly what i got now i'm going to add our already cooked meat one more and stock fish to this we are also going to add the stock fish and um, prawn egg powder that we made earlier you want to now stir this and combine this pro you want to stir and make sure that everything is properly incorporated another thing you will notice is that i am adding my beef and every other thing first before we are going to season this this is because you can seasoning a foriro is it's a very interesting process if you season before you add your beef and everything you are most likely going to over season so you want to make sure that you're adding your beef and every other thing first before you season just so you know the amount of seasoning that you're going to add to this i'll add some water to this and then we're going to add some fresh fish i just said to add this i'm not a very huge fan of fresh fish i'll be honest so if you don't even want to add this it is fine i just wanted to do it for the sake of adding it i'm going to carefully stir that i know it doesn't look like i'm carefully doing that because i'm actually not but please be careful when you're stirring your fresh fish so that it doesn't scatter in the pot after a couple minutes this is what it should look like now we are going to remove the fresh fish because we are still stirring a lot here and if you stir fresh fresh fish a lot you are going to scatter it so you want to avoid that totally remove it from the pot before adding our already blanched air for now before now you most likely have been cooking on medium to high heat at this point you want to reduce your heat to low heat just because now that we've added our air for the cooking process is essentially done so you don't want to overcook this again remember they were trying to make sure that our air for is as vibrant as it possibly can so you don't want to overcook this all you want to do now is stir this for a bit i'm adding a little bit of water because my effort was a little to be too thick i love my soup thick but this one was a little bit too thick so now all you want to do is stir this make sure that everything is properly incorporated you want to taste and um, make sure that everything is properly seasoned you're now going to bring back the fish that we removed earlier and that's about it cover allow to simmer for nothing less than a minute or two maximum and your eforiro is ready you guys look at this beauty i still have this in my fridge and it tastes really really good let me know if you love this video let me know if you found this video helpful by clicking on the like button leaving a comment sharing the video i paired my ferrero with pounded yam because honestly that is the elite combination ever i'm going to post a video on how i made this pounded yam without a blender without a food processor and without pounding very very soon so watch out for that and now you want to serve your ferrero and pounded yam enjoy your properly made owan bear for euro and thank me later you can definitely follow me for more recipes see you guys in my next video bye guys